Good morning. Welcome to the Battle of the End. We appreciate you being with us here today as we continue our study in Romans chapter 3. We'll be looking at verses 9 through 18 today. Let's begin. What then? Are we better than they? No, in no wise. For we have before proved both Jew and Gentiles that they are all under sin. As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. There is none that understandeth. <clears throat> there is none that seeketh after God. They are all gone out of the way. They are together become unprofitable. There is none that doeth good, no, not one. Their throat is an open sepulchre. With their tongues they have used deceit. The poison of asp is under their lips, whose mouth is full of cursing and bitterness. Their feet are swift to shed blood. Destruction and misery are in their way. In the way of peace they have not known. There is no fear of God before their eyes. What a terrible statement. The issue is this is the this is us. It's not just you know, we can try to think of other people. But now what Paul says. Paul says, as is written, there is none righteous, no not one in verse ten. One of the most famous statements that we hear read, we'll try to win someone to Christ, we've got to first recognize that we're lost. And here he says, There is none. None, you and me, none. Don't think yourself righteous. He goes on though and says, There is none that understandeth. There is none that seeketh after God. See, God saw us when we weren't seeking Him. For yet while we were sinners, Christ died for us. He says, uh, uh, verse 12, They're all gone, all, they're all, this is you and me, we're all, they're all gone out of the way. The way, being Jesus is the way, the truth, and the light. Nobody was born saved. We we're all in automatic conflict with salvation because we're sinners and our flesh wants to continue to sin. He goes on and says, uh, They are together become unprofitable. There is none that doeth good. No, not one. He goes and specifies to make sure you understood. He meant nobody. No, not one person. We're all wretched sinners. All of us. He says, verse 13, Their throat is an open sepulcher. In other words, the foul things that come out of their mouth. Open sepulcher is dead bodies, stinking, decaying, rotten flesh. That's what's coming out of their mouths. Lies and hypocrisies and profanities. You know, you sit in a crowd. You sit in a crowd of children and listen to them use profanity. Stand in Walmart. Listen to the vulgarity that you hear. And this is passing public today. The world is an open. It says, they have used deceit. The poison of ass was on their lips, whose mouth is full of cursing and bitterness. That's the world is full of cursing and bitterness. We hear it all the time. He said, their feet are swift to shed blood. I tell you, I don't know about you, but I hear about murders every single day on our local television stations. Every single day, people are being murdered. Murdered for whatever. Now you can't protect schools aren't safe. Uh, 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 dorm rooms aren't safe. Walmart isn't safe. No matter where you go, walking down the street, we had a place in Raleigh a couple weeks ago where people were just walking down the street you know, a park getting killed. I mean, they're swift to shed blood. Destruction and misery are in their way. The way of peace they have not known. The only way to peace is through Jesus Christ. Jesus gives us the peace that passes all understanding. Verse 18, there is no fear of God before their eyes. Therein lies the problem. When man doesn't fear God, they do whatever. I always tell people, I tell my daughter, I tell my son, I tell everyone this. Never be surprised by what the lost do. They don't have God. You say these are good people. They're good people today. Like some people have these wild animals. These wild animals are tame. Next thing you know, they kill somebody. How did that happen? Because by nature. <laughs> by nature, that was in them. That was always in them. It can always come up because it's part of who they are. Sinners are that way. You don't matter who they are. If they don't know Jesus, if they don't have the Holy Spirit, they have an evil spirit. I don't have time for today. Let's close the word of prayer. Lord, I thank you so much for this opportunity today. You allowed us the opportunity to serve you through this 
testimony. For it's in the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Thank you for your time and your attention today.